Hello, my juicy, scrumptious, delectable, and delicious Aquarius. Welcome to your love tarot reading, Abracadabra, baby. Today, we are doing the classic you versus them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person, my baby, my boo boo, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. All right, so let's see what is going on between Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, inner person. The winds are blowing, boo boo. <laughs> Something's blowing on this channel always. <laughs> Don't just say that. Shh. Don't cancel me. Uh, all right. Mm. Delectable. Something's real delectable. You're being, you know, I think you're pretend. So with the you versus them. Sorry. <laughs> Your mommy's being super chaotic. I always feel the wind. Done. When the wind blows, I get like all crazy. Um... So we assume some kind of a rift or separation between you and your baby and the you versus them. This is your April energy. It's your daily April reading. And what I see here is uh, someone who's, they're being kind of chaotic, but they're definitely like coming for you. So they're, the wind is blowing them back to you almost, you know, like they're coming, coming on the winds of change, coming on the winds of re the returns, you know, the wind is blowing them back to you. you got the sun here. This person's all about you. The lover's at the bottom of the deck. A choice needed to be made. This person could have made some bad choices in the past. Five of Wands. It could have been a situation where, where you had a lot of conflict. You were fighting over uh, what you wanted out of the relationship. This person had different goals. Or they just enjoyed fighting with you. Um, something could have ended here. Or something could have been put on pause. I don't even know if it's a true ending, but I think it's some kind of a rift. There's stuff going on, you know, something in the water. Um, the Ace of Pentacles here. So, you know, five hours, five days, five weeks ago, about a month ago, something went down. But you got two Aces here for your person, you know, in their feelings, in their perception of you. So this is someone who feels like there is definitely a new beginning coming. They want to offer you a new beginning. They want to offer you something more. They're not done with you, Bippo. But it's someone, there's like gatekeeping energy to this almost. So it's almost like someone uh, who is very defensive. If it was a bimbo, himbo, anyone in between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, could be someone who has trouble letting people in. So the door was closed, you know what I mean? Like mm, they were gatekeeping their own heart. They have a lot of passion for you. You know, that big <laughs> Bippo. Okay, the wind's blowing, let's not lose the cards. <laughs> um, the Ace of Wands here. You know, that's a big, you know, wand, you know, PPVV, anything in between, whatever's going on, something's throbbing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's not just love, it's not just, um, I mean, not just love, it's not just infatuation, it's like, their full body, soul, mind is like throbbing for you. But they were gatekeeping themselves for some reason. It is someone who was single for a long time, the hermit. So if you met them, you know, this is a stray cat from the streets you met on the Tuesday on Tinder or something, uh, new energy. This is someone who was single for a long time and they've been, uh, they almost um, got funny, you know. They almost like went funny. This is like old maid uh, energy, you know, old bachelor energy, someone, anyone in between. Someone's been battling with life all by themselves. Let's see. What was between you? Uh, also, Aquarius, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you. I see you. I appreciate you. Give your mommy a kiss. Mm, but Bill, as you know, you are my favorite, Aquarius. Everybody knows that. Uh, I may give you sun and rising, but I'm always in that Aquarius lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I'm always dating an Aquarius, friends with Aquarius says, so you're my little boobies. Also, Aquarius, if you are interested in a personal reading, all the info is down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, Aquarius, I have a question. Um, I wore this dress. It's like a new costume dress. It's like a Greek goddess dress. But here on my balcony, we see the old the old minaret, the old mosque. Now I'm thinking like someone's going to say it's cultural appropriation. Like, does it look Greek or does like, do I look Greek? What's going on? Like, am I doing something wrong? Don't cancel me. Just let me know in the comments below. I don't I don't want to offend anyone, but I just realized that I do say abracadabra <laughs> in the beginning of the readings. And then like with the view here, like in context, this could look a little suspicious, but it is meant to be like a reference to Atlantis. Like if you see the full dress, it's like totally Greek goddess. All right, anyway. All right, enough about me. But yeah, let me know. Cause I don't want, I don't want to be one of those people. Uh, so yeah, someone's been uh, alone for a long time between you, the queen of wands. So um, you presented some kind of a challenge to this person, particularly if you are in the feminine energy, or if you like this person encountered you, you know, if it was a new person in your life and you're like, woo, 
Aquarius, you got so much going on. You got your career. You got yourself. You take care of yourself. You're beautiful, gorgeous, scrumptious, and you're um, successful. You're like, wow, this is too much of a challenge. I've been alone for so long. I don't know if I'm up to it. <sighs> How disappointing. You know what I'm saying? And you weren't trying to challenge this person. You weren't trying to like do anything bad to them. But it was almost like they got triggered by your power. And they wanted to either bring you down or make you feel like some kind of a way. You know, this is the nugging energy. This is that douche flute energy. Then you got the Knight of Pentacles. You were very calm and collected in this situation. You did not let this person get the better of you. You did not let them provoke you. You were like, okay, that's your opinion. You know what I mean? This person was nagging you. They're like, oh, you're very attractive for a career woman. You're, you know, you're very successful for someone who's not very smart. You know, they're, they're trying to like mansplain or something like that. If you're in the masculine energy yourself, anyone in between, these roles could have been switched, but someone was trying to take something away from you because they were they were lonely for a long time and they were always almost took it out on you. It's almost like someone met you after a long time of loneliness and they were resenting you for not having come into their life sooner. So if you're wondering why someone suddenly, it could have been someone who suddenly ghosted because they didn't feel up to the task, uh, the hermit, but they're definitely intending uh, with their heart, mind, body, and soul to come back because they know they made a mistake. If it was an established connection, it is someone who made you feel lonely in the connection for a long time. I think they were kind of riding on your coattails here, the Queen of Wands. Whether you're a masculine, feminine energy, anyone in between, there, it was almost like, well, Aquarius is going to do the job for me, but Bill, so why should I try? Aquarius does everything. Aquarius is perfect. Aquarius is successful and beautiful and handsome and scrumptious, and Aquarius got it all. So what, what, what am I for? You know what I mean? It's kind of like Ken energy. But they think you are the best thing best thing ever someone could have left a long-term connection here because they felt like um surplus to requirements it's not to say you make like it's your fault at all Aquarius but if you have a husband wife anyone in between a partner long-term person I think they felt like you're there's something about you being so successful or so driven or you're just like doing your own thing you got that aura about you you're very attractive as well and I think they I think this person felt for a long time like they were in your shadow and they didn't know how to articulate it and instead of talking they just left or they ended it so this is why it ended um the six of wands <clears throat> and their intentions so this person is trying to come back in <laughs> did you hear the cards <laughs> This person is trying to come back in, like aggressively, uh, and this time around to show you that they are worthy, that you, you know, they're just as good as you. They're trying, you know, I don't know about this person. They they love you, but Bill, but it's almost like they feel so insecure around you, you know. What is the point? The Seven of Swords. I mean, I'm sorry to be real like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too critical. Cross watcher, let me know in the comments. Uh, the Seven of Swords here, what to expect from them in the next six hours, uh, seven hours, seven days, se seven weeks. This person won't be doing anything productive. But, Bill, you got time for yourself. You got time to think. You got time to meditate. Think about what you want, but, Bill. And then the sun, they will make themselves known this summer. So uh, springtime is a time, you know, even if you're not in separation, if it's just like some kind of a rift, um, this person won't be making, there's nothing productive here uh, until the summer. But by the end of the summer, you'll know if you want to be with this person or not. Let's get some advice here. They do love you. They want a new beginning. But they still feel, I feel like this person is still in their low vibrational, low vibrational energy of trying to prove to you they're as good as you. And that's not the point of love. <clears throat> you got choices in love, Aquarius, but Bill, you always do because you're so skeptic, baby. You know that. Aquarius is always like, you know, Aquarius, you're like the scorpion, you know? People can't work us out because we're not like, we're like highly individualistic. Like we're individuals with a capital I. And people are always like looking at us and they're like, how do you, like, how do you get the confidence? How do you get, you know, like your mommy here sitting on my balcony, you know? <laughs> Greek goddess vibes. But you know what I mean? Like, 
most people are like, how did that even come into your mind to live your life like that? They don't get it because there's something about Aquarius and Scorpio that's gonna, Aquarius is connected to the heavens and Scorpio is connected to the underworld. And you go as far up as possible and we go as low as possible into the depths of the unconscious and together we rule that consciousness. Um, so, you know, it's like, this person is gonna come, definitely coming back to try and like win you over, but you have so many options because so many people are fascinated by you, so don't forget it. Use the next seven hours, seven days, seven weeks to try and explore your options in love. Maybe you already know a person who's an alternative. Um, allow yourself to be worshiped. I think the person we're reading for today, it is, there is something like, there is a psychic connection there. I think you feel them and I think they feel you, but it doesn't mean it's the only psychic connection for you out there. That's why I'm gonna say, you might choose that person, you might choose somebody else, but allow others to be mystified by your uh, mystique with them. All right, this is what I have for you today, Aquarius. Let me know in the comments below this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading, all the info is down below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you.